So Honor's wide range of mid-range devices now includes the new Honor 8C. Let's quickly unbox it and have a look at its features. Before that, let me introduce myself. I'm Sundar, this is Technology Jock. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications for my future videos. We've got the box here, just like the typical blue Honor box, the Honor 8C, a transparent silicone case, the user manual plus some paperwork, the SIM tray removal pin, a micro USB cable, and a wall charger. Honor has been stepping up their game with regards to design. The recently launched Honor 8X looks absolutely gorgeous, and the 8C2 has a stunning design, yet it's quite unique. I can't think of many phones with, a, with an exactly identical design. The back is made of plastic, but Honor did a good job replicating the look of a metal back. The way it catches light looks cool. To the front, there's an LCD display with HD plus resolution, not full HD. Uh, it's 720 pixels by 1520 pixels. Given that the resolution is low and the screen size is huge at 6.26 inches, the pixel density isn't great. The display is not very sharp. And yeah, we have a notch as well to the top. But those who don't like it can mask it by toggling this option in settings. Speaking of settings, setting up the fingerprint scanner was a hassle-free experience. The scanner works quite well. It's super accurate and reasonably fast. We have face unlock too, but of course it's not as secure as the fingerprint scanner. This face unlock is just software based. It doesn't have any dedicated hardware. The Honor 8C runs on MUI 8.2 based on Android 8.1 Oreo. It's expected to get Android 9 soon and MUI being MUI, it has a lot of first party apps and even a bit of bloatware like Facebook, Camera 360 and Netflix. But on the flip side, it also has a lot of features like some useful power saving modes, smart resolution which reduces the screen resolution to save power, uh, motion control which lets you flip phone to mute, uh, use three fingers to take a screenshot and so on. It's definitely a feature packed UI. But guess what? The presence of these features and abundant of first party apps doesn't really slow down the device. Because at the heart of the phone we have Qualcomm's brand new Snapdragon 632 chip which has 8 cryo 250 cores clocked uh, up to 1.8 GHz. Now note that the 632 chip is a better version of the 630 chip, not a mini or slower version of the 636 chip. The 636 is noticeably better. Anyway, to power a phone with a 720p panel, I think the Snapdragon 632 chip gets the job done in most occasions. The phone comes with 4GB RAM and 32 or 64GB internal storage. It also comes with a whopping 4000mAh battery unit. Remember, the 632 chip is manufactured on the 14nm FinFET technology, meaning the power efficiency is supposed to be quite good. So that, coupled with the 4000mAh battery, should provide excellent battery life possibly up to two days. Last but not least, we have the AI cameras to talk about. The 8C features a 13 megapixel rear camera with f1.8 aperture, which is a good thing. The aperture is quite wide, so the lens will let in more light during very dim lighting conditions. And the secondary camera is a two megapixel depth sensor, which helps capture portrait mode pictures. The AI here suggests that the phone can intelligently detect a number of objects and scenes and accordingly change some camera settings before shooting a picture. AR stickers are also supported if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, on the front, there's an 8 megapixel f2.0 selfie camera. There's an LED flash on the back as well as the front. Nice addition. So that's pretty much it. The phone is expected to be priced at around 12,000 rupees. Honor has also launched the Honor Band 4. For info on that and more, follow me on my Twitter handle uh, at Technology Jock. Hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to Technology Jock for more like this. Hit the bell icon to get notifications for all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is Sundar leaving for the moment. Have a wonderful day.